Hi, this is Ravi here. In this video, we are going to discuss about source and destination NAT capabilities on Azure Cloud NGFW. Here is the short agenda for this demonstration. We will start with understanding the deployment topology, discuss about how destination NAT will be utilized to provide secure inbound access through Cloud NGFW, and how source NAT will be utilized to provide secure outbound access. Post which we'll talk about private source NAT capability and the use cases in which we'll be able to use this private source NAT functionality. Coming to the deployment topology, as you can see over here, I have two VNets where I have two different web servers hosted over here. And these two spoke VNets are connected to Azure Virtual WAN using the VNet connection. All these infrastructure is part of the customer subscription and Cloud NGFW is integrated into Azure VBAN Hub. Functionality that we are going to discuss, source and destination NAT capabilities, it is applicable for both Azure VBAN as well as Azure Hub and Spoke network architectures. Let's now discuss about how destination NAT capability will be utilized to provide secure inbound access through Cloud NGFW. Let us say if we wanted to access web server hosted within this spoke vnet directly from the internet. In general, the applications will be provided access through the front end IP of any of the load balancers. So now on successful creation of Cloud NGFW, you will be exposed with public IP addresses. It can be one or multiple public IP addresses. And these public IP address, whatever, you are seeing within the customer subscription, it will be utilized within Cloud NGFW. And we are going to leverage these front end IP or the public IP address in order to provide secure inbound access to this web server. And that is where the destination NAT functionality will come into picture. So let us say if we wanted to access this web server, which is having an IP address 10509, and it is part of the spoke vnet. Since I'm trying to access the web server from internet, I should be able to access using the public IP address. Let us say I wanted to access using the public IP address one. We are going to perform destination NAT on Cloud NGFW where the destination IP address will be changed from this public IP address to the actual private IP address of the web server where it is being hosted. On receiving the traffic at Cloud NGFW using this front end IP address, we are going to perform destination NAT on Cloud NGFW and redirect the traffic towards the backend application after inspection. Now, let's try to see how exactly this will be available as part of Cloud NGFW configuration. Here is my Cloud NGFW that we are going to use in order to provide secure inbound access to the backend application. As I was mentioning on successful creation of this Cloud NGFW, you will be exposed with public IP address or IP addresses and private IP address, which will be used to redirect the traffic from customer's infrastructure towards Cloud NGFW. So now we are going to leverage this public IP address as the front end IP in order to access the backend application. So the backend application, as per the demo topology, we are seeing that it is hosted within this spoke vnet and it has an IP address 10.5.0.9. So I have a web server. If you, here is my web server VM where you can see that the IP address is 10.5.0.9 is the IP address as per the demo topology. We will now try to see how Cloud NGFW is going to help access this backend web server by configuring destination NAT. If we go to Cloud NGFW, we will be leveraging this public IP addresses. And for that, we need to go to networking and NAT section. So as part of the demonstration, I have already configured my destination NAT policies. I'll just show how exactly we will be able to add that. So let me try to edit. And if, we, if I go to one of these, or let me try to create one, so you just need to provide the name and the front end IP address. This front end IP address is nothing but the public IP address using which Cloud NGFW is being exposed. 
using which you'll be able to access the backend applications. We have seen there are two public IP addresses associated to this cloud ng of w. It can be a single public IP address as well. You just need to select the front end IP and the port number, let us say 80. For example, if you wanted to provide access to multiple applications using same public IP address, you'll be able to use the same front end IP with different port numbers, like for example, 8080, and your backend IP is 10509. As per the demo topology, it is 10509. So you just need to provide 10.5.0.9 and the port number. So I have Apache server running, so I'm using port 80 as the backend port. So this is how you'll be able to specify the destination NAT policy. After saving this configuration, you just need to access, in order to access the backend application securely through Cloud NGFW, you will be able to access using the front end IP and port number. So in this demo, I have just tried to use two different IP addresses. So to access the web server one, I'm using one of the front end IP addresses and the backend web server is 10509. And one more web server I have hosted, which is with the backend IP address as 10.604. If you go to the demo topology, so this is part of spoke to VNet, where I have one more web server, 10.604 is the private IP address. As I have mentioned earlier, you'll be able to use same public IP address as the front end IP in order to access multiple applications by specifying different front end port numbers if at all you have a requirement to provide backend application access using different public ip address you will be able to do that as well similar to the way i'm doing now as part of this demonstration i have used two different public ip address as the front end ip right if at all you have a requirement let us say if you wanted to add multiple public ip address as part of the front end IP, you just need to come to this public IP address section and select the drop down. I mean, from this drop down, you just need to select the public IP address that you wanted to use actually. So once you select this and save the configuration, you will be able to use this public IP address as part of the destination NAT configuration. This will get populated within the front end IP address configuration. So for now, we have two different web servers hosted and both these public IP addresses, the two different front-end IP addresses were used to provide secure inbound access to two different web servers over here. So if I go to my, uh, this is demo firewall IP, right? The first public IP address. So let's go to the overview page where you'll be able to see the public IP address. Let me try to access this public IP address. As per my destination NAT tool, I'm having front end port as 80 and back end also as 80, right? If I try to access this, so this is pointing to my web server one. Let me try to access the other public IP address, which should redirect me to the web server two. That means the traffic is being redirected through Cloud NGFW and Cloud NGFW is performing destination NAT and redirecting the traffic to actual uh, applications hosted within the spoke vnet. This is my web server too, where we have used the second front end IP address in order to perform destination NAT at cloud NGFW. So now let's try to see how this is being reported on Panorama because I am managing my cloud NGFW using Panorama. So we are trying to access using this public IP address, right? So this is 137.112. So let's try to filter that. So we have accessed the web server one using one of the front end IP 172.167.137.112, right? So let me try to check my public IP address. So if I go here, if you see 223.30.70.245. There is that, yeah, 223, 30, 70, 245. This is the source IP address from which I have tried to access the backend application, Web Server 1, using this front end IP address. So, which shows that we are able to securely access the backend applications 
through Cloud NGFW with the help of destination NAT functionality on Cloud NGFW. Let's now try to discuss about source NAT functionality on Cloud NGFW. So, on creation of Cloud NGFW, by default, source NAT functionality will be enabled and we will be performing source NAT on outbound internet traffic. Having said that, let us say if you wanted to access some of the internet applications using this web server, for example, the traffic will be redirected through Cloud NGFW for inspection and Cloud NGFW is going to perform source NAT using the front end IP address associated with Cloud NGFW, post which the traffic will be redirected towards the internet. So on Cloud NGFW, let's try to see how we are going to configure source NAT and how can we associate specific public IP address if at all that is a requirement. So if I go to Cloud NGFW, go to networking and NAT section and over here you'll be able to see that there is source network address translation functionality. Here is the place where you'll be able to enable or disable this source NAT functionality. Let's try to edit the configuration and see options available with respect to source NAT functionality. Here you, you will be able to see use the above public IP address option. Basically what it means is whatever the public IP address that you are going to use while creation of Cloud NGFW, same public IP address will be utilized to perform source NAT on the outbound internet traffic. Let us say there is a requirement to use different public IP address for outbound internet traffic. In that case, you just need to disable this and you will be able to specify which public IP address you wanted to use in order to perform source NAT. In order to scale source NAT on the outbound internet traffic, we will be able to add additional public IP address. Let us say you can add multiple public IP address. Over here, you'll be able to select the number of public IP address that you wanted to use while performing source NAT on the outbound internet traffic. What happens over here? We are going to utilize the front end IP in order to perform source NAT and on port exhaustion, we are going to leverage additional IP address that you are allocating as part of this source NAT functionality. Let's now try to discuss about private source NAT. First of all, what is this private source NAT and why we have introduced this private source NAT? In order to redirect the traffic towards Cloud NGFW, when we are talking about spoke to spoke communication within customer's infrastructure, the traffic from each spoke will be redirected through Cloud NGFW using user defined routes, where the next hop will be pointed to the private IP address of Cloud NGFW. In which case, there will not be any source NAT performed. I'm repeating, when there is spoke to spoke communication through Cloud NGFW, there will not be any source NAT performed. Now, let us say if a VM within app one VNet, if it is trying to access some of the Azure native resources, Azure PaaS services, in that case, the pass service in general will be exposed using the private endpoint IP addresses. So what happens? The traffic from this spoke VNet, it will be redirected through Cloud NGFW as part of the UDR and post inspection, it will be sent to the private endpoint of the Azure pass service. In this workflow, there is no NATing functionality or NATing performed. The response packet will be sent back to this spoke uh, VM, right? And that spoke VM can be directly reachable by this private endpoint instead of sending the traffic to Cloud NGFW for inspection, which will lead to routing asymmetry. In order to avoid that, we have introduced this source NAT on the private traffic. Using this capability, you will be able to specify the destination IP address 
based on that we'll be able to perform source nat before sending to the actual destination even though it is a private traffic we will be performing nat so that the response traffic will come back through cloud ngfw and we'll be avoiding routing asymmetry so how are we going to configure that let's try to see on the cloud ngfw portal again if you come to this networking and nat section and scroll down you'll be able to see this private source nat functionality so you can just try to hover over here to see the details of this so let me try to edit and here you will be able to specify the destination ip address of uh, your pass service it will in general be the private endpoints of your pass service so just by specifying the destination ip address so any traffic destined to this particular destination ip let us say for example 12.12.12.12 .12 .12 .12 .12. Any traffic destined to this from the spoke vnet, even though it is private traffic, Cloud NGFW is going to perform source NAT before sending the traffic to this particular destination so that the response traffic will come back through Cloud NGFW, which will avoid routing asymmetry. Thank you for watching the video.